All right, YouTube family. It's your boy, Superman2000, in the fight chair. Did you see that? Oh, my goodness. Now, here it is. Big Willie stopped by the house today. We were talking. I told him I had rock hole for the win because Bisping didn't have a proper training camp. His response to me was, I know, but I like the way Bisping looked when he fought Anderson. I believe he's going to get the win. I like his boxing. It's greatly improved. My response was, nah, he doesn't have a training camp. He doesn't stand a chance. Okay, lesson for the day. Never go up against a big wheel pick. This is the second time it's happened to me. First two times he picked Chris Weidman. Last time he picked Conor McGregor over Jose Aldo. Ah, Big Will's racking up the wins, man. He's so no, I, I, I got to turn around and say, man. And he picked Steph Mayock over Weird Dune. And this is like, I watched that fight over and over and over again. Looking at the leg work, looking at the footwork, and it's like these fighters are overconfident. Okay, right before, oh, Sloan, right before Rock Hole gets knocked out, right? Look at his hand. He's loaded up on one hand and he has the other hand dropped. In the jab position, but it's dropped down. He throws a loaded hand, and the other hand is not protecting his chin. It's not up here. He dropped his hand, overconfident, didn't respect the power of Bisping. Bisping sidestepped and came across and bang! Got him. So, uh, this is what happens when you don't respect another fighter's power. It's, 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 I, I mean, like. Yeah, it's getting unpredictable now. It's getting unpredictable. I, I like the way it is. I love the fact that Bisping got the win. But no, he has the win. I guess Chris Weidman is going to fight him next. Mm. But I know Cannabis Hills will be happy about this. And uh, Slam X1976, I just got your message on Twitter. I've been, I've been so busy. I'm gonna I, I, I'm signing up for the fight picks so I can, I, I, can, I can make my picks and then I'll send you my username. But guys, wow, that was amazing. That was some amazing stuff. I I I I think Rock Hall was just too confident. You never drop your hands. Time and time again, I see fighters getting knocked out because they keep dropping their hands. This isn't yes, it's martial arts, but don't drop your hands. You gotta keep your, you know, boxing is a part of this thing too. Yeah, yeah, you wanna be able to grapple and wrestle and clinch, but boxing is a part of this thing too. Well, I can say that card was very good. <laughs> I didn't even see that coming. Oh, man, it's outrageous. It's outrageous. All right, guys. You can comment below and let me know what you think about the fight. I thought coming in without a training camp, Bisping didn't stand a chance. But apparently he did a Nate Diaz move, started out slow. Rocco got comfortable, overconfident. Dropped his hand, and then when he saw the opening, he took it. it. It was good. It was it was good, clean, solid boxing skills. Just, just made it happen. Now, I guess that's also good for Bisping because now he's vindicated. He got the loss that 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 back, so his 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 stock is is going to go up through the roof. And then now, I guess next is gonna be next fight is gonna be Chris Weidman, providing that there's no injuries. With Chris Weidman and he won't have to pull out again and his next surgery goes well. Something tells me that at some point Anderson Silver is gonna wind up in the title fight when you talk about the, the the title fight because in Dana White's eyes I can see him saying holy crap hmm I gotta find a way to get my dollar signs up in my the dollar signs is going tick, 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 in Dana White's eyes so he's he's thinking okay the next, the next one that's gonna sell sweet is Chris Weidman versus Big Bisping. Then the winner of that, I'll try and match up with Anderson Silver. That's a good deal. I can he's, he's counting the money now. So uh, hey, ha -ha, happy for you, Dana White. Uh, Bisping, one of these days, if I interview you, don't take it personal that I didn't call the fight for you. 
and for my subscribers that call it for bisping good 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 going guys good going you know your stuff thanks for keeping me on point all right guys that's my two cents from the fight here peace out